Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple map using the sample data provided in SAP Business Objects Lumera 2. If you have not already done so, please download the Visual Crossing Lumera extension from the URL at the bottom of the video, www.visualcrossing.com SAP. Now let's get started and make our first map using Visual Crossing in Lumera 2. The first step is to install the Visual Crossing extension in the Lumera environment. We do this by going to the Extension menu option and selecting the location for the Visual Crossing extension zip that we downloaded. We now need to restart Lumera for the change to take effect. Now that we are back in the restarted Lumera tool, we can go to the Extension menu again and verify that the Visual Crossing extension has been installed properly and is ready for use. With our environment ready to go, we will now load up the Dairy Wholesaler sample that ships with SAP Lumera. The first thing that we will do is remove the state filter from the sample data. This will give us a broader, more interesting data range. When Lumera has finished recalculating, we will expand this graph control to fill the entire screen. This will make working with it easier. Next, we will change this graph visualization to a cross-tab grid. This will allow us to more easily see and edit the data. We will remove the milk type sample data that was on this visualization before, and we will now replace it with data that is more map friendly. In this case, we'll use the state and the city from the sample data. Now that we have mappable data in our data set, we can change the visual crossing visualization and configure the map for display. Lumera requires us to click in the Design Property section so that Visual Crossing can set up the required map property and then we can begin configuring the map itself. We will use our state attribute to add a state layer and tell Visual Crossing to theme it by the profit metric, blue with the state name and profit value. Add our cities to the map. This is a bit more complex because in order to uniquely specify a city, one must also specify the state which contains that city. We will tell Visual Crossing to join this city data with the standard geometry layer of all the cities in the United States. In order to complete the join, we will provide both the city name and the state name join characteristics. Now we will tell Visual Crossing to theme this layer on profit and to label it based on the city, the state, and our profit value as well. Finally, for proper display, we will rename this layer and call it Cities. Now we are ready to tell Visual Crossing to turn our data into a map. As you can see, Visual Crossing automatically zoomed into the area of the country that contains our data. It used filled areas for the states and it used points for the cities. The pop-up labels were automatically created based on our label specification. And the theming was done based on our profit metric just as we requested. You can see from the legend how the colors match up to the profit values. We will now return to the Lumera document design view. You can see that the Visual Crossing map is not only displayed, if you double click it, it is fully interactive. You can pan, zoom, and edit just as you would in full screen mode. Before we go into preview mode, let's change the title above the visualization to be something more appropriate to match our map. Now let's go into Lumera preview mode and take our first look at the updated document. As you can see, the map looks just as it did in edit mode. And just as before, we can maximize the map to full screen. It is fully interactive. We can pan, we can zoom in, we can use the labels and color thresholding in order to inspect our data more closely and better understand it. I hope that you have enjoyed this brief introduction to making a map in Visual Crossing. Please leave us a comment and don't forget to visit our website at www.visualcrossing.com. Thank you for watching.